We have a process that we truly not want to just train people how to follow Jesus' model, but our process to equip and train these local churches to do life-on-life -life missional discipleship is to follow the same method and mandate that Jesus did. So we want to walk alongside these churches. So first of all, we want to build a relationship with them. We want to get to know them. That might take six months. It might take two years of just getting to know one another and trusting one another. During that first process, we call that envisioning, where we just cast the vision for they understand what we're about, we understand what they're about. And so we're not about the talking head where there's just a conference and someone's going to talk to you for two or three days, give you a notebook and let it collect dust on a shelf. But we want to build a relationship that's going to last for years that we could come alongside them and encourage the national leaders and the local churches in their cities and their nations and their continents for they're going to make an impact of multiplication, not us. So in that process, we want to envision, we want to do relationship building. And then that second part of the process is what we would call three clinics over two years or three workshops over two years where we come in for several days with partners that we've built relationship with. And we might equip 5, 10, 15 churches at a time. They would come with their senior pastor. They would come with four or five people from their church, two or three men or women, or excuse me, two, two or three men, two or three women, and come as a team. Because in a workshop, we might teach a little bit, but they're going to interact and implement and apply what we share. So that first clinic is really a foundation, a biblical foundation, is how did Jesus pursue the heart of people? How did He engage His men and equip them to turn the world upside down? And then also we teach them how to select well, the nine principles that we see from uh, uh, Christ's method, uh, biblically, of how He selected His men. And then we have coaching calls in between clinic one and clinic two that online through Skype or something, that we'll have coaching calls and we'll continue to invest in one leader from every church that comes. And then after a six, seven month process, we help them select well and get started well. Now what we definitely tell them is we don't tell them to announce it in the church, preach about it, put it in their bulletin, put it on their website. No, just start one or two men's groups, one or two women's groups, let it be a grassroots ministry. Keep all the other ministry you're doing. Don't stop small groups. Don't stop Bible studies. Those are good things with different purposes. And so in that process, we help them select well. So when they start, we come back with clinic two, four, five, six weeks after they started. And in clinic two, we teach them a lot about how did Jesus pursue hearts? How did he pursue the heart of Peter? How did he see transformation happen in them? How did he pursue Nicodemus and the woman at the well and, and Pilate and so on? and to really get down to life transformation, that we know transformation, lasting transformation is going to come through the heart. We don't want little behavioralists, little legalists running around, but true life change, mature and equipped followers of Christ. So that's one thing we do in clinic too, is how to pursue the heart. Then we teach people how to think principally for other people. As they're leading three, four, five people in their groups, how do you think for different issues as you're leading them to become more like Jesus? And also just how to engage the world, uh, how to engage the world through the word, through deed, as we want to see people come to Christ and come to full maturity. So after clinic two, again, we have coaching in between. And then we will have a relational visit where we'll just to visit our churches and encourage them as we go into these cities and into these nations for another six months. And then another six months after that, we might come back with clinic three where we equip them in multiplication. They're ready to multiply. They're ready to impact other churches in their city. And then the last part of that is, is continuing coaching as we do, uh, build kind of a church dynamic of leadership development uh, in their church so they can see multiplication happen. And then a third phase, so that's in completely all a second phase of those clinics. A third phase would be where we would come alongside them and equip them to do the same thing in their city and their nation. It's not ours. We want it to give it away. It's Christ. It's 2,000 years old. We want to do the old thing with new people. We don't necessarily want to do a new thing. We want to take the great principles that Christ modeled for us and do it with new people. And then that last phase, what we would call an empowering phase, is we want to empower them to go reach the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ.